So here I'm pleased to present a new project uh, in our laboratory, which is focused on the study of protein turnover in healthy and diseased human ears. And this project is funded by the Synapsis Foundation Alzheimer Research Research. So first, let's define what is protein turnover. So protein turnover is the balance between protein synthesis and protein degradation. And this balance is important to maintain in order to maintain a proper function of proteins. And this is because each protein in a cell has a limited time span during which it is functional. So once proteins are newly made, they will work for a certain amount of time, and then ultimately they will not be functional anymore, so they need to be degraded and replaced by newly made proteins. It is also known that when protein turnover gets perturbed, cells accumulate proteins that are non-functional, and this can lead to toxicity and even to cell death. And this is known to be a causal factor in the course of neurodegenerative diseases, where neurons that don't have proper turnover, uh, protein turnover, can, uh, can uh, have an altered physiology and ultimately die. However, we know surprisingly little about the rate at which uh, proteins are turned over in human neurons, and also about what regulates uh, these rates. So in order to study this, we need first to obtain human neurons, and then we need to quantify protein turnover in these human neurons. So how can we do that? So to obtain human neurons, we can use human pluripotent stem cells that can be differentiated using well-established protocols towards post-mitotic human neurons. So this allows to obtain uh, mature human neurons in, let's say, uh, reasonable quantities. So then how can we measure protein turnover in these neurons? So for this, we will use an innovation that we made in our lab, where we developed a new sensor that is also called a fluorescent timer that allows to quantify protein turnover in living cells. So how does this work? So our fluorescent timer is made of a fast maturing green fluorescent protein that is used to a slow maturing red fluorescent protein. So let's imagine that we quickly make a large number of copies of this fusion protein, let's say 1,000 molecules within a few minutes, and we observe these molecules under a fluorescence microscope. So this pool of proteins will first glow green because the green part is fast maturing, and then slowly over time, it will also glow red. So looking at this pool of protein, by looking at the fluorescence that is emitted by them, we can estimate the age of these proteins. Now, if we go back to our uh, protein turnover, what happens now if cells have a high protein turnover and express this fluorescent time? So if the protein turnover is high, it means they have a high synthesis rate and a high degradation rate. So proteins live on average a short amount of time, so they will appear green with this readout. Now, if another cell has a lower protein turnover, low protein synthesis and low protein degradation, the cell will appear more reddish because now the pool of protein gets older and thus indicates this lower protein turn. So thus this simple color readout allows us to directly quantify protein turnover in human neurons. And here is a proof of principle experiment we did using embryonic stem cells that we differentiated into neurons. So you can see on the left an immunofluorescence picture in which the neurons are staying in red and neuronal progenitors that are still dividing are staying in green. And on the right, you can see the fluorescence emitted by our fluorescent time. And as expected, we see that the neural progenitors that are still have a relatively high protein turnover because they are still dividing, so they need to make a lot of proteins are more green, while the mature neurons have a slightly lower protein turnover and appear more orange. So this is a proof of principle that we can use our fluorescent timer to measure turnover in human uh, neurons. So the project will consist of producing healthy 
human neurons or disease human neurons using different uh, uh, cellular model of either Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. And these cells will be engineered to express uh, our frozen timer so that we can measure uh, protein turnover in single human neurons. So this will uh, allow us to both uh, study the mechanistic basis, basis sorry, of protein turnover regulation by uh, separating cells that have low or high protein turnover and studying the property. But this will also open the door to screening for drugs that can alter protein turnover using neural differentiation in uh, 96 well plates in which we can add drugs and measure the change in this color ratio to evaluate how these drugs can alter protein turnover. So we think that this strategy is extremely powerful because it's based on imaging of single cells. So it allows to make a lot of measurements and this will open the door to understand how neurons regulate the protein turnover and how this protein turnover is dysregulated in disease and hopefully also uh, allow for the future development of drugs that targets uh, uh, altered protein turnover in neurodegenerative diseases. <laughs>